right guys in this tutorial I'll teach you how you can make a nice rainy effect I'm gonna use this picture and turn it into something that looks around like this alright first of all I'm gonna copy this layer make a new project in Photoshop make sure preset clipboard is checked that means that the size of the image or project I'm gonna make is the same size as this image I just copied then we're gonna copy paste by holding on control and pressing V. I'm gonna delete the background. I'm now now going to make a new layer where I'm gonna add the rain effect on. Make sure black is my foreground color. Go to edit and click fill. This can also be done by holding on shift and pressing F5. Then make sure to use the foreground color and blending mode should be normal opacity 100 and click OK alright so now your screen should look all black now we want the black to disappear and make a rain out of it to make the rainy look we start by going to filter noise add noise make sure monochromatic is checked or else you'll get these colored dots instead of black and white if you choose the color that shirt rain is going to be colored that will look weird make a nice 100, 110% amount click OK then we're gonna go to filter blur motion blur this makes it look like the rain is actually falling choose a nice nice distance between the pixels it depends from picture to picture what looks best. Choose the angle of it. For example, it would be stupid to do like this. I'm sorry, to do like this. You know, because the water isn't going that way. Alright, so I like to keep it around here. Hit OK. Then we're gonna hit Control L to access the levels command. This can also be accessed by pressing Edit. Sorry, Image Adjustments levels. Then take the white marker and drag it to, to the start of the black mountain thing looking here. Take the black here and keep dragging until you think there's not enough rain on your picture. Like that. Hit OK. Then you're going to change the overlay mode down here above the layers to screen now this just looks like some white dots on it so first of all you can see the there's a problem with the edges here I'm going to change that by hitting control T this can also be accessed by hitting edit transform I'm oh, sorry free transform so I'm going to drag out the little edges out there that's wrong like that and Okay. Now to blur this out so it looks pretty, we're gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And now this looks fine. All right, so now we've added a nice rainy look to our image. This was Gaui from Gaui's Touch. Don't forget to subscribe or comment, or even send me an email from the email in, this, in the description if you got a request for the next tutorial. Bye.